We're back again with this TPI F24TE high velocity FIA. I did a test run on this the other day and the motor got up to about 165 degrees and 150, 160 is about as high as I like motors to run. They can run at that temperature, but they shouldn't get beyond that temperature. That's just my opinion. A lot of the old GE fans that are still running 50, 60, 70 years later, those run at 150, 160 degrees. Uh, and that's with an ambient temperature of like 80. I tested this upstairs, it was about 75 or 80 degrees, somewhere in that range. And it was 165. And so if it was 90 degrees or 100 degrees, I was using this outside for instance, the motor would be upwards of 180, 590. Thermal fuse is usually cut off at around 230. So I think that's a bit too high. Now I recall the other ones, the 12 and the 18 running pretty hot as well. But I wonder in those cases, is, is it just too underpitched? Because I saw Eski did a video of the 12 inch one and he showed the kilowatt meter and it was below the rating. So this one's over the rating, that one's below the rating. There's probably somewhere in between that we gotta be at right where the rating is in order for it to run correctly. Because too little pitch on the motor will cause it to run hot as well because there's not enough air, whoops, not enough air moving. So let's get into this thing here and see if we can uh, get the pitch correct. These are very difficult to get off. It's one of my only complaints with the build quality of this thing. right now so I'm going to say we want to decrease this just a little bit be careful I don't throw everything out of balance here crazy with the alignment. Let's see where the power draw is at. There's no point in aligning it if the power draw is where it needs to be. So the tag on the motor, well there's two tags on the motor. The manufacturer's, the motor manufacturer's tag reads 1.5 amp 1650 RPM and the TPI tag reads 2.2 amps that's a pretty big discrepancy. It, it really is. That's almost a 20, over 20 percent discrepancy, I think, but not a count. So, no. Uh, I'm gonna go by the tag on the motor manufacturer, motor manufacturer's tag. I think that's the safest option. All right. So I got the kilowatt meter out here. Plug this in. A lot of people are using air conditioners today, so the voltage may be lower than usual. Oh, no, actually, it's higher. It's 121 amps. All right. 
want to power this on and see what we get here. I might as well show you the kilowatt meter. You know what the fan looks like if you've seen the other videos. Of course, there's a piece of paper in the way. <laughs> you can't make this stuff up. Okay. Start off on the low. So we're almost already up to full capacity. One point six It's already not as powerful as it was before, so I think I'm going to leave it there. I, I think that's that's okay. And 1.68, 1.7 versus 1.5, that's a pretty small margin of error. So now I want to see if I can get this into a good a good balance here. You know, and the reality is too, this is a pretty standard size motor. If it does go out, I can get another one. It won't be that difficult. Granted, I don't want that to happen because this was expensive, but I, I think 1.6 or 7 is fine. Because sometimes uh, they do draw a little bit more. You know, they're not always right at the, at the marking. So now, I'm going to look at the blade tips and I want to make sure that they're all pretty much in balance. This one is a bent. That's pretty close. This one's a little bit too much. Alright, I'm happy with that. That's pretty close. Now at some point I want to oil this motor because it just sounds very dry and the spin down is not anywhere near as long as I would expect it to be for a relatively heavy blade because this, I don't know if that's terribly aluminium, I guess maybe it's not that heavy. Jeez, I just fell. You know, the other problem here is that there's probably not enough air getting behind it. So it may be a little bit noisier in this particular location. 
than in a real world scenario. But that's just a limitation of the size of the room. So I'll try to cut it as, as uh, much like this as I can before it becomes unstable. Okay. In perfect balance as well. So that was 1.6 rated at 1.5. That's a pretty small margin of error. I think that's completely acceptable. So I'm going to leave it like this. If it still runs hot, then it just natively runs hot.